how to overcome the sales call reluctance point or part number four. Uh, today, I wanted to share with you how you can overcome that reluctance. And this may be a sales call reluctance. This may even be a reluctance for you to go out and meet people to grow your business. I am seeing there's a big trend where this happens again and again with business owners. Now, if this is you, then you definitely need to pay attention to this. This will shift and change your business. Yesterday, we discussed that we need to shift the negative expectancy that things are going to go badly on a sales call or a meeting, and we need to make it positive. We need to see things going the way that we want them to be, and then, of course, we can go ahead and make them that way. Now, that makes us feel better, we're less anxious, we're more likely to take action. I want to suggest another shift in focus today. This one's a really powerful one, because if you're feeling a level of anxiety or negativity or not wanting to go and do this sales meeting, sales call, I've got to ask you, who is your focus on? If you're feeling negative about this or concerned about this or worried about this, who is your focus on? In most cases, the focus is on yourself. Now, what happens if you shift that focus to being on them, right? You're not focusing on how you feel or your fears or your concerns or your rejections. You're instead focusing on them. And two particular focuses. What if you went into that call or that meeting with number one, how can I build this relationship? In what way can I build the relationship, build the connection? And then number two, is how can I add value in this uh, call, in this situation, this connection with someone else? Now, if your focus is on building the relationship and helping develop that and adding value, which of course is your true intent as a business owner anyway, then every call you do, no matter what the outcome, is a win. You've gone ahead and you've added value and you've built a relationship with someone. Now, you can never really get a no to that. If you call up to someone and you're looking to build the relationship or add value to them and they want to say no or they're not interested or they don't want to do anything with you, well, if that happens, whose loss is it? Who's losing out in this situation? They have an awesome person right in front of them looking to add value and build a relationship and they're not interested or is not right now. If the loss is really theirs, it's not yours. So your mission is to, to go ahead Focus on adding value, focus on building the relationship and developing the relationship. And I want you to start collecting no's, right? Those no's no longer represent something that you've done wrong or you've done badly. These are just people saying, no, I'm not ready to have additional value from you. No, I'm not ready to build a relationship yet. That's on them. That's their loss. So I want you to collect as many no's as you can. Now, the interesting thing for me, and this kind of trips me, trips my brain a little bit when I first really understood it, is that the most successful salespeople, those who get the most sales in any organization, typically have more no's than anyone else, right? They have, they go and speak to that many more people, they have that much more value, but that many more relationships, they get way more no's than anyone else. So I don't want you to see no's as a, a no or a decline or someone of interest, I don't want you to see that as failure. I think you should see that as success because the more people you talk to and the more no's that you collect, the more that you're building your skills, your ability, the more that you're going to get the insights and the wisdom to reduce that or get better better results or better cut through or better learning. So I want you to have a new frame on this. I want you to go out and collect as many no's as you can. Make it a game with yourself. We talked about a game yesterday. Have a game with yourself where you can connect, collect more no's tomorrow than you did yesterday. You actually go out and call more. And what will happen as a positive side effect of this is the more nodes that you're connecting, the more people you're gonna bump into on these calls who actually do wanna build a relationship and do wanna have you add value to their lives. And that's really the purpose of the, the calls. The calls are really about sorting and finding a match. Who actually needs your value or your service right now? Who wants to build that relationship or have, have some value added right now? Okay, I think that's enough for today. Uh, go collect those nodes and I look forward to catching up with you tomorrow with some more tips around this particular area. Have a great evening.